Today we are delighted to meet a young man who has made a huge impact on the world already and he is only three. Yes, we are joined <laughs> on the sofa by his mom, Susan, and his very own Garda Escort, uh, Sergeant Alan Keane. CJ McCarroll, you're very welcome to the show. Uh, Susan, if we go back to 2014, I was chatting to your husband Marcus earlier on. There was a three-week period where uh, CJ had a high temperature, there was talks of virus, mm -hmm. but you felt it was something more. The virus was going on continuously and he kept on spiking temperatures of about 40 and we visited his local GP and they said he had a kind of slight red throat and a slight red ear but viral infection, viral no! infection. But then he kept on spiking and spiking so I took him back and I got really upset at this stage because we were up every night and I was bathing him and trying to get the temperature down. So finally I said, look, I really think there's something wrong and we need to do something. So she advised that we go to Cavan General Hospital and, <clears throat> excuse me, get his bloods done. Mm -hmm. So um, we got his bloods done and they come back about an hour later and asked us to stay the night in Cavan. Yeah. So uh, the next morning they said that they thought it was glandular fever. And I was quite relieved because I had a source because, mm. you know, it was just yeah. going just on for so end, long yeah. and I was yeah. exhausted. And, um, but it wasn't yeah, glandular fever. But then they start saying, one of the nurses threw up something about white cells. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying to Marcus, just in the room, he has cancer. Mm -hmm. And Marcus said, don't even think that. Like, do you know, I said, no, white cells leukemia. I said, I've read about these cases before. Like, it was just in my head. Mm -hmm. So I said it to one of the nurses and they said, look, we're, we're sure he'll be fine. Daddy, mommy. Mm -hmm. Daddy's just over there. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll uh, you know, we'll, don't worry, we'll get everything sorted. So I they did more Daddy. tests and more tests. And then the doctor came into the room and he told me to sit down and he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, we're very sorry, but he's leukemia. And... Yeah. Gets crumbling straight away, basically. Straight and away. Yeah. So he's been getting treatment now for how long? Um, se September 2014. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it'll go on for three or four years? It goes it? on, yeah. It's uh, three and a half years for boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he does his own chemo at home every evening then? He takes yeah. oral chemo at home every evening, every yeah. Every evening, and twice on Tuesday, is it? That's right, yeah. And then uh, every week, every once a month, he's in Crumlin for a stronger chemotherapy mm -hmm. called Van Christen which gives him a lot of joint pain and a, a weak dose of steroids, which is very mood alter, alterating and uh, he gets very um, ag aggravated on it and he can't sleep and it's, yeah. he gets pains in his feet. It's a hard week. Well, people are probably wondering why he's dressed as a guard and why you're here as well, Alan, <laughs> with him at this stage, because this is, this is why we have CJ on today. He always wants to be guard, Susan. And I know That's he's right. only three because I know your family grew up near a guard station. That's right, yeah. We always had a strong connection to the... Gardy and Casablani and he used to love sitting out in the wall with his grand and watching mm -hmm. the patrol cars come in and out of the station. So, so mm -hmm. cute. Yeah. Uh, how long did he spend in, in Templemore, uh, Sergeant <laughs> Allen? Uh, <laughs> well, he was a rapid recruitment <laughs> for CJ uh, onto it. Um, yeah, as, as Susan was saying there, onto it, I'm attached to the National Community Policing Office yeah. and mm -hmm. it's uh, part of Garda Community Relations Bureau and Garda Headquarters. And there was a, a great connect between the local Gardaí in Castle Blaney and uh, the McArdle family onto it, and yeah. particularly CJ. And they found very quickly the love that he had for the guards onto him. So they kind of asked then to, to come on board, is there something that we can do to try and make his wish come true, which was he wanted to be a guard. So He's wearing real, a real guard uniform, he specially is. made from yeah, a real hat. He's yeah. got all sorts of guard the paraphernalia. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you, you've, you've made his dream come true, basically. Yeah, and it is, as I said, that the, there's a great connection there between the, the local guard and that. In particular, there's uh, Derek Rotter, just the local guard there onto him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, between us, we arranged uh, last September up in Garda headquarters. Um, where he was, uh, we made him, gave him his uniform and he inspected the Garda horses, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the Garda band, and he conducted the Garda band. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and uh, he's, uh, he did traffic stops and so forth. And, uh, but, uh, so it was a great, great day for him. And, uh, now he did a really, he really partook in full guard of duty. Look at this video here now. This will speak for itself. Have you got a fire, huh? Ask you write down his name. Ask him his name. Has he a license? Not on me. It's at home though. Oh, no good Has he any identification at all? Any identification, ask him. No, I'm not in guard. Anything with his picture on him. So, so CJ? Uh, that was CJ's first arrest. CJ, you were arresting somebody there, were you? Why? Because. What was he doing? 
Going too fast. Going too fast. Going too fast. Good, fast. Good, <laughs> good man yourself. And did he get three penalty points as well? He did. He did. So this must be great, even just to take your mind off what's it's happening as well. such a distraction. Yeah. You know, it's unbelievable. And all the messages of support he has been getting on Facebook, you know, he had septicemia, so he's in the hospital there mm -hmm. for two weeks in Drogheda Hospital. And, like, mm -hmm. the conditions in Drogheda aren't great, but the staff are amazing, like, yeah. especially our oncology nurse, Connie. Like, we, she's such a support for us. So we used to have the wee um, tablet and we'd be showing him all the pictures on Facebook and because that. Because he's like. got uh, forces all over the world getting in touch yeah. too. It's not just the Gordy here. I mean, look at the, these shots we're showing here. Well, what happened was that uh, when we gave CJ his uniform last September, we were saying that it wasn't just a matter of giving him the Garda uniform, yeah. that he was part of the Garda family. And when we heard that in February that he was uh, quite poor and that he had to stay in the hospital in Antrim, uh, what we did was we sent out a call out to our colleagues in America. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a retired detective in uh, Texas there, uh, Jerry Rhodes, and uh, he's a friend of ours, so he did it from that side. And we asked the guards down around the country for to send in good messages for them then as well. So we kind of took off from that on. And you realise he, he, he had no interest in being here at all with more and myself. All he wanted to do was go to the <laughs> well, guard he's the No, he's got a job to do here as well, though, he? What? CJ, do you have a little job to do here? Yeah. You have a job to do? What? 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 Do you have to go to die for? What? Just eating his vegetables. Eat his vegetables. You have to no, tell him. I can't eat broccoli. He has to eat broccoli. We spoke about this. Do we have the handcuffs? handcuffs? You go over and give him the handcuffs and tell him to eat his broccoli. He needs to eat his broccoli, doesn't it? They're heavy, oh, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you got away with it this long, is what I have to say. Trickster. Two of us. Good boy. <laughs> Look. No. You have to put on the other one there. Do you want to so push this? Push this here. How long, do I, how long do I. For eating broccoli? I'm not eating my broccoli. <laughs> I'd say how much? I'd say two or three plates of broccoli. What do you think? Three. 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 Yeah. three. Very good. Boy. Thank, you, thank you, Garda. Thank you very so much. Thank you, thank you very much, Garda. See you. Thanks very much, and Susan. Thank you very much for coming in. So thank cute. You. He's brilliant. You're brilliant. You really are. Has somebody a key for these now? No. no. They don't. <laughs> I'm so throwing it away. I thought I'd never get those things. Anyway, now we'd love to hear it if you have somebody out there for our Good Friday feeling. Somebody like little CJ who really deserves to be praised. Mm -hmm. If you have any comments as well on today's show, we would love to hear from you. Yeah, if you have bail money for me That's or right. if you have the key for these handcuffs, please do email <laughs> the code.